Continuing the California trip from last video. Go check that out to catch yourself up. So as promised, we spend the rest of the trip um, sightseeing and amusement parks. We went to Six Flags Magic Mountain. It was like a six hour drive too. From the border of Mexico all the way to LA. Our coach who was driving at the time was constantly falling asleep at the wheel. Luckily my bro slapped him back to reality to make sure he didn't crash. When we arrived at Magic Mountain, we were very tired and hungry. The first thing that we did was we ate funnel cakes. It was probably one of the most unhealthiest things to eat, especially when that was our breakfast. So the good trick about going to amusement parks is that you have to ride the ones that get you soaked and drenched, then go on the fast ride so you can dry off because that's exactly what we did. Plus the weather was in the 80s. You know, I would say the most scariest ride was the X2. I legit thought I was gonna fall off the ride and splatter across the concrete. <laughs> There's also a part of that ride where you go through fire and no joke, I felt the fire. Honestly, the most fun ride at Magic Mountain was the Superman. And I was the only one on the team that went on it. I encouraged the rest of my friends to come join me, but they all wussed out. And when you go on that ride, they give you no warning. The second they see you sit down, they just let it rip. Boom. I feel like you're getting sucked up into the atmosphere. It was awesome. I'm sad my friends didn't join me. At the end of the day, I think we just did some rock climbing for like $15. And it was worth it. I got a sparkling Batman cape. Yeah, and that Batman cape kept me warm <laughs> up until nighttime, which was pretty cold compared to the day. So, the next day, we went to Universal Studios. Hey guys, um, some of you know the story. So, <coughs> I was not much into vlogging back then, but you know, I still wanted to film my California experience. And it was also my first time at Universal, I just wanted to make memories. So, I had my GoPro with me. Before we could go on any of the rides, we had to take the studio tour. You know that um, trolley ride that goes all around Universal Studios? Yeah, that ride. Yeah, you know, it was an awesome first experience. Seeing King Kong, Psycho, and all the different lots and effects. Then, we went to the lake with the freaking shark and Kenny. Rest in peace, Kenny. You know, because we were going near water, in my mind, I was pretty smart. <laughs> you know, I don't want anything to fall in the water, so I should probably secure the thing. You know, I put my wallet, my phone, and the rest of my things in my pocket. But my dumbass decided to put my GoPro on top of my leg. Yeah, and you know, the tour was getting close to the lake. You know, I don't know what I was thinking, but I decided to film on my camera while my GoPro was on my leg. So I was not paying attention to the GoPro. This is my new GoPro that, you know, replaced the old one. So it managed to fall off my leg. Okay, this matches my leg. It managed to fall off my leg, hit the bottom of the cart we were in, jump out through the railings, hit the concrete ground, and bounce into the lake. Heck, I'm pretty sure it flipped me off before it cannonballed in there. You know, I was speechless. I thought, you know, it's a GoPro. It's waterproof. You know, I should just stay silent, say, say, say nothing. You know, it can't get any worse. I'm pretty sure everybody around me heard what, what fell. And one of my friends thought it was a good idea to pull the emergency brake. Yeah. And here's the actual video evidence of what happened. After it died. After it died. 